Okay, so welcome back to the Strategic IC Command Worksheet video series. Uh, so, so at this point, we're just gonna catch everybody up again of, of where we're at within the incident. So we've assigned multiple companies, we've had some crews come out, there's some crews that have recycled, uh, we've met some objectives, we got the all clear primary search of the first floor, we got fire control on the first floor, we got an all clear on the second floor, they do got a working fire in the attic on the second floor, we've assigned one company to address uh, uh, that problem. So some things that we still need, you know, to address is obviously we got to get control of that fire on the second floor that's in the attic space. Uh, we're maintaining two and three deep deployments. So engine five is still level one stage. I got companies here that I can use for resource. Uh, in real life, I would probably call for um, two, uh, two, two more engines and a ladder maybe on this just to make sure I could keep pace with it depending on, you know, the severity of the fire in that attic space. What did it really look like? Are we getting ahead of it or are we not? Um, so we're, we're going to move on here. So engine one was still recycling. Uh, and at this point, engine one to command, we've, re we've finished our recycle. We're ready for reassignment. Command copies engine one. I'm going to assign you to get a secondary all clear of the first floor. So engine one has completed this. They've recycled. So how the sheet works, I could just do uh, engine one. So they've, they've recycled. And I'm going to put their assignment here now is engine one is on the first floor uh, for secondary search. So uh, now I know engine one is on the first floor secondary search. So I just keep on moving that, you know, across. So when we're, when we're working horizontally on this, it's the, it's the company that's on the far left. And then I'm, I have the ability to assign them three additional times. So in this case, it's engine one. So the first five companies, I really have the ability to assign four times if I wanted to. But, you know, we know through rehab and conditions and what were they exposed to, we, we really probably shouldn't you know, do that unless they've been to rehab. Um, but it, we have the ability to do that. And then I wanted to talk briefly, you know, th this sheet at the bottom, you can adjust this too. So this gives us the ability to assign 20 different companies in an incident. So I, I know plenty of organizations that have ran three alarm fires on this worksheet that lasted, you know, five, six, seven hours. Uh, but you, you got the ability to adjust this. You can make this column here just a little bit, or this, this row a little bit smaller. So you could add some more, you know, lines down. You could get rid of the notes and expand that down. You know, you could tweak this up a little bit and make that a little bit smaller if you wanted to, if you wanted the ability to assign more, more units, you know, at the incident. So from this point, uh, engine one, first floor, uh, secondary search. And when I'm looking at my rundown, I have engine two on the first floor, uh, on the alpha side still, and I got engine um, three is on the second floor for fire control. So they were the company that went in to replace ladder one for that extension into the attic space. So we're just gonna talk a little bit about what does it look like if a, if a chief had arrived and I'm gonna make them, uh, assign them to a division. So uh, we'll just say um, uh, 5802 had arrived. So 5802 had arrived to the incident, uh, their chief officer, and I'm gonna use them as alpha in this case. Uh, I wanna push them forward. I got quite a bit of uh, crews working there and I, I wanna get somebody that's a little bit closer to it in that tactical position that can kinda, you know, feel it, taste it, touch it, do entry control, get a little bit more face-to-face in -face information of, of what's going on in the attic space. So what we would do with that is, I would just draw a circle right here. So that's alpha. And then I would give them the rundown of what units that they actually have you know, working for them. So really in this case, they have uh, everybody except for engine five that is level one staged is working for them. So they got engine one, ladder one, engine two, engine three, engine four, are all working for, for alpha. And then I would tell alpha, hey, when you get into place, let me know. So when they get into place, they're gonna key back up. So 5802 to command, I'm in place. Okay, I'm gonna make you alpha. You got engine one, ladder one, engine two, engine three, and engine four. And then I would tell him what companies were where doing what. So I would tell him, you got engine one on the first floor doing a secondary search. You got uh, engine three on the second floor for fire control, trying to cut that fire off in the attic. And you still got engine two on the first floor, just finishing up doing some overhaul. So. That they, he verifies who's where and, and what they got. So that comes back to the tactical accountability piece. So they should he, that, that tactical boss should have the passports for those companies 
And then they can use the, the, the boards that we have, right? The red side is inside, the yellow side's outside. So, you know, some people would say, man, you're just passing command. You're just pushing it off. Well, really I'm reducing my span of control, but my, the value is I'm pushing that tactical boss forward. Again, that's, you know, a little bit closer to it. They can get some face-to-face -face information. Uh, it, it improves uh, safety on the fire ground, a whole embedded, you know, safety piece. In this case, uh, if that tactical boss doesn't have a support officer, it's not a big deal. There's not a ton of companies working there. It's not like this thing is, you know, escalating, you know, crazy out of control and that, that I'm going to be making a strategic shift potentially or, any, or anything like that. So we just wanted to show like, so these companies now are all working for Alpha. So once I told them that, <clears throat> you know, there's a few things that, that you could do. Um, Really, in this case, I, I don't need to, to write anything down. I just know that I still have Engine 5 available and that all the rest of those companies are working for Alpha, who's right there in the front yard, making sure that we have, you know, on-deck equipment available, uh, making sure we're doing air management properly, making sure we're meeting all of our objectives, you know, starting that customer service, loss control, uh, all, all of those other pieces that, that we need to address at the incident. So I can get back to that 30,000 foot view. What have we done? What have we not done? What else do we, uh, what else do we need to do? Uh, so that, that kind of just wraps up this piece. So during this, to reiterate, we had a, a company that came out of recycle. They were ready for assignment. We showed how we would move them over. Uh, we showed what alpha, you know, that position would look like. Uh, and, and with that whole thing with Alpha, you'd want to make sure command to Alpha, these are your objectives. So your objectives are, again, to cut that fire off in the attic, and we still need to get a secondary search of the second floor of, of this space. And I might even tell them, hey, I got utilities en route, just so that they don't come back later, you know, and ask for that. So that wraps up this little short segment on the Strategic IC Worksheet.